In this video, I'm going to cover off my top five features for the new Fujifilm GFX 100 Mark II. Let's get it. Okay, feature one, autofocus. I was lucky enough to use this camera for about a week and I did a varied range of shoots. I did some commercial shoots, I did some fashion tests, editorial work. So there was a big mix of the subject matter I was shooting and the speed at which I was shooting. I did everything from in studio, low light, uh, rear curtain flash work, which I can put an example up now, as well as on site for a commercial workwear company. I was shooting wide open with the new 55mm 1.7 lens on eye tracking and I was able to track a little girl running around and it didn't miss. So in my mind, I come from Canon land. I was an R5 user before I switched and I was happy to, I'm filming on the X-H2 now, which has really good auto focus but obviously when I moved to the 100s the autofocus was a lot slower and I had to be really careful about what I was doing I feel that with this GFX 100 mark 2 the playing field is now even uh, in some situations I saw that the autofocus was actually better than the Canon R5 so I've seen a lot of people say it can't be but I'm telling you now it is so that's number one autofocus Number two, body design. When I unboxed the GFX 100 Mark II, which you can see a video of somewhere on my channel, I was really, really pleasantly surprised of the ergonomics, the new design. Uh, in particular, there's two things that really struck a chord with me. So near the shutter button, are three quick buttons so that are completely programmable. So you can set them to things like white balance, whether you want eye, eye and face audio tracking or animal or subject auto tracking. You can have ISO, you can have whatever you want and they're right there, right there near the trigger and where you would adjust your shutter or your control dial. So an amazing piece of thinking from Fujifilm that they implemented this because it really does make a difference accessing the things you want to access really quickly. So in my mind, that's a huge game changer and I was able to do things on the fly really, really quickly when I was working and it made my life that little bit easier. So yeah, the ergonomics and the grip is incredible. Off to number three. Number three is the electronic viewfinder or EVF as we like to call it. It's something around the vicinity of 9.6 million dots and it is really, really good. I shoot outside a lot on location and I've always struggled even with the Canon R5. I've shot with the Fujifilm X-H2, the GFX 100S, a bunch of different cameras and it's always really, really hard to see what you're doing in those really high contrast environments but with that EVF, the way that it's detachable as well, which is another bonus point, but it's, it's recessed back from the camera body, which helps get your eye onto the cup really well. And the resolution, the speed at which it uh, provides an image, it's just unrivaled. It, it is something that other manufacturers need to really look at figuring out how to do because it, it is class leading in my opinion. So I was able to shoot in really, really broad daylight, be able to review the images, see, make sure that I'd done everything right at the time. I couldn't shoot tethered because Capture One didn't support raw imagery, so I was shooting JPEG to camera. And I was able to go back in post-production with the full confidence to know that I hadn't missed exposure, that I'd done everything correctly. Um, so that could be my favorite feature out of everything, but it is an absolutely stellar viewfinder um, and it's gonna be something that other manufacturers will need to look at really seriously to try and match the performance that uh, the GFX 100 Mark II is getting. Wow. Number four, the new Reala Ace film simulation. What can I say? I normally use the Provia or the classic Chrome film, film simulations as a base to shoot from. 99% uh, of the time I'm using Provia standard just because I like the tonality, the color reproduction, it looks really true to life. But I 
didn't realize that it actually had the new film sim on there, but as soon as I did, I actually used it for the court commercial shoot that I shot. And the skin tones were amazing. It's a little bit more tonal as far as there's more contrast baked in uh, compared to something like Provia. And the color is a bit different, but I really like it. I think it's a beautiful film simulation. I, I shot a lot of things straight to JPEG, straight from the camera, and I barely needed to edit them. They just looked really beautiful straight there, very minimal editing required. Um, I'm a massive fan of Real Ace and I've spoken to a lot of film photographers that it's their favorite film stock ever made. So uh, I'm really, really excited that Fujifilm just threw that in there and uh, it's definitely a reason to get the camera. Obviously they'll release it for new Fujifilm cameras, but it's, it's a beautiful sim. Last but not least, let's talk video specs. I could not actually believe the specs when I saw them and I thought, oh, surely we're gonna have rolling shutter issues and a bunch of things. I currently actually, all my commercial work that I shoot video, I actually use RED cameras uh, just because I love shooting raw. I love the image it produces, but I have used the X-H2 and other Fuji cameras and I actually do really like F-Log2 as a log profile. I even like out straight at a camera. I, I often think Provia looks really beautiful, but I took it for a test drive and I am very tempted to sell all my red gear and go all in on GFX for film and photography. And I personally think it could be the best hybrid camera that's been made to date. Let me explain. It's the specifications are saying it's almost 14 plus stops of dynamic range, which is crazy. That's two stops more than most flagship DSLRs at the moment. I'm talking about the A7S III, those kind of cameras, which a lot of people use. But the, the ability to use anamorphic lenses, you've got a myriad of options with lens choice, as well as 8K internal, 6K, uh, sorry, 4K, 60 frames a second, internal, 10-bit, 422 ProRes. You've got an awesome anamorphic uh, 2.35 to one kind of widescreen format, which looks beautiful. It's a 5.8K. So, the, the possibilities are endless and wow. you know with the launch video there's some serious DOPs using this for really beautiful work so even though I do like the red workflow I love raw footage I don't know this could be it for me I could be all in so anyway there it is that's my top five features for the GFX 100 Mark II after a week of using it. I think this list will grow and change as I just continue using the, the body and the, and the camera. I've pre-ordered it, I'll be getting it at launch. Uh, the 55mm 1.7 lens is a magical lens. Uh, I didn't really list it as a top five feature because it's a thing on its own. But yeah, just to recap, the EVF is incredible, the Reala Sim is amazing, the video specifications, the body, the way they designed it is, you know, unbelievable really. It's it's just, they've taken all the kind of best things out of everything and uh, put it into one, and the autofocus, you know, that it kind of relates to the speed of the camera in general, but the autofocus is incredible. Uh, so yeah, leave a comment uh, if you want to know anything else, if you've got any suggestions on the coming videos, I've still got a long-term review. I've got behind the scenes of the editorial shoot we did here as well coming. There's a bunch of GFX 100 Mark II content coming your way. And uh, I'd love to just see some engagement as to what you guys, you know, want to know. Uh, I, I was lucky enough to have the camera for a week and I really did test it properly. So happy to answer any questions you've got. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and uh, subscribe if you like it. All right, talk to you later. Bye.